they advance so much that the next story beats all the other stories. Well, oh. 60 foot <laughs> mecha style mm. robot takes its first steps in Japan. Now, I don't know. As far as usefulness is concerned, I don't believe this particular robot can compete with Spot or the Facebook fiber robot. No, no. Very useful. But in terms of impact, this beats the both of them. You don't realize 60 feet. You know what? I saw this picture, Will, and I immediately started thinking about how big the structure is around the robot. Yeah. Look at the building around the robot to build the robot. Yeah. It's incredible. Engineers in Japan have been hard at work building a gigantic 60-foot humanoid, ro humanoid robot modeled after those in Gundam sci-fi franchise. Now, you're a Gundam guy as well or no? I'm a Gundam guy. You're a Gundam guy. Yeah. So can you? what can you tell me? What kind of insight can you give me why you would want to do this? Well, this seems like one of the original models for Gundam. Um, and they've already had models that are inanimate um, in Japan. So they're just statues. Okay. And they would light up and then some form of like, you know, maybe their vents kind of, you know, open up or something. Right. But it doesn't walk around like this one. No. And to have someone maybe pilot it, that's uh, that's oh. pretty interesting. That that's that looks like. Does a, that turn you on? Scale. Does that turn you on right there? Well, it's an achievement. That's As a what Gundam a lot guy, of people would look at is uh, yeah. Well, I can see it. that it's an achievement, but as a Gundam fan, is this some sort of a? Is there a special place you have for this? Did you always want to see? Oh yeah. Oh, sure. you did. For sure. Okay. Yeah. Well, this thing's enormous. It's uh, twenty-five tons. 24 degrees of freedom. The hand from wrist to fingertip is 6.5 feet. Oh, geez. So, I mean, this thing is enormous. And it isn't fully walking in the video, but you can see it lifting its leg into a walking motion. They prepare to be getting close to actually uh, moving this thing around to some degree. The company behind the robot, Gundam Factory Yokohama, was planning to have a preview event this month, but it had to be canceled, of course, due to lockdown. Mm. Maybe this is just, its a, I guess it's a marketing thing. You build this and you sell a few more of the, I don't even want to call them toys. I believe that's offensive. What are they supposed to be called? They're Statues? called the Gunpla. Gunpla? Gunpla. You can't call them figures or anything else? No, no. Wow. Well, model kits, I guess. Model kit. Okay. Yeah. All right. Apologies to the Gundam fans. Well, I think it's good. cool anyways. Yeah. You got to count on Japan, man. Look at this. Yeah. Incredible. Global lockdown, finishing touches, 60-foot Gundam. 